Here we go, so we're gonna do an honest review. Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Brighten Eye Gel Cream is crap. This also has multiple issues. One, you can't get any of the other product that's in the bottom. So it could have settled and stuff like that and there still might be product in there. So the design is absolutely flawed. What you should be getting that is significantly cheaper is this. This is amazing. It also has retinol in it too. It is Revive Eye Serum Ginseng and Retinol Beauty of Yosan. This is amazing and I can tell almost instantaneously after I put it on. I've not used this product for a while and I can tell you right now for me completely project having this glow recipe this is game changer and it's cheaper by a lot and you get more so that is my honest review as that as well also this um so circles it's great but it's just another skin cream i didn't feel like it made a difference or changed anything they do have some vitamins in it, vitamin E, B, 5, and supposedly organic green tea. Anyways, it says it is the highest concentrate of snail extract. I don't really know if that's true. Yeah, I would rather just use this. So that is my project pan update and would not repurchase either of these again. And though I did use this all up to hydrate my skin, so I might change my mind depending on how hydrating everything else I have in my stash. So, one less thing to carry on the plane. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of traveling the next couple weeks, and I'm slowly getting rid of all the peeling I've been doing. I've also been stripping my skin way too much. I actually took out the Glow Recipe Gentle Cleanser because I think that was what was causing the issue, so. We're almost done with this one. This is the A New Heart um, Leaf Pore Control Cleansing Oil. This is okay. Honestly, I have to see how my skin reacts to just my other two products that I'll have. So, getting excited for my trip that's coming up in literal days. Am I packed? No. Do I have everything that I love ready to go? No. But I will tell you of an Amazon review. The extenders are waterproof. You can see that there's like weird gapping and stuff like that from the bottom, but I fill this up with water, set it on the side, no leakage, which is why I wanted to make sure I didn't have to bring this with me if I didn't want to. So we're getting excited. It's gonna be great. Gets a little bit of time off, getting in some more hours and work. It's gonna be a good day. I'm also not sure what I want to bring in this one. Thought about shampoo or conditioner, but then again, I'm not sure because I'm trying to think what product would do best in this container. And then I have to worry if it's gonna be sunscreen or shampoo or something. What is it gonna take for, I don't know. Because they are pretty big. I'm also trying to use them up, but I've been shampooing and conditioning my hair a lot less my hair is starting to get a little bit thicker with all the lotions and potions i've been doing so yeah we're working on it <laughs> and yeah i've been using this uh damage shield stuff which is great which is actually in this so i've been using quite a bit it's about halfway full honestly i think i might just dump this whole thing in there but I don't know, maybe a few more washings with it. It might get down far enough where it will fit in that entire thing. They don't have to carry such a big container. It's great with, so when it gets about half, that's when you're like, oh, I'm still carrying around something bulky. So, not sure about that. <coughs> I'm still loving these, and I cannot wait to pack on my trip for this. I also have a lot of press on nails that are really cool. And also, I have no idea why. These headphones are out. Crap. I really hope they're not picked up on the thing feed. 
right <clears throat> i did buy that silicone cover and i'm super super stoked all right i have no idea what's going on with the sound quality all that stuff i'm very happy that i have this i've also not been wearing a lot of foundation just speak or a lot of makeup just because my skin has been so so dry that it's been literally peeling like a lizard so but this is all starting to hook up which is great I do need to put on this stuff I really need to be better about reviewing my project pan stuff because you know don't make the same mistake I did or buy something that actually works for super dry sensitive skin so that is my goal all right, yeah, no, I have literally, like, I've got flakes on my shirt all over. It's disgusting. All right, so main thing is these two are going in the garbage. Would never repurchase this one again. It just didn't do anything. So, yeah, only thing that is bad about this one is it has a yellow tint, so you've got to really blend it in really well or have it soak in. So these are going out, and... What we're going to be bringing in that we already have from our stash, besides the eye cream, is <coughs> we're going to bring in the collagen. Um, it's for plumpness, firmness, the face mask. I really do like the face, sorry, not face mask, uh, face shop. They also have a serum. I really, really enjoyed using the serum and I... I use I just have to be careful I don't overdo it because I am still going through this retinol. I'm really hoping that I can completely get rid of this entire thing before before the um after basically the end of the next couple weeks. Because I like it, it's great, but I don't know if I would repurchase it. I have to see how like my forehead line and my wrinkles and stuff like that would actually look. So that is the difference. So I'm also going to be bringing back in this, this um, Glow Recipe um, Plum Plump Hyaluronic Acid. Now here's the one thing is, yes, I said that I didn't like this because I didn't feel like it did anything, which is fine. But I, I actually started using this stuff, Glow Recipe, before it became super popular. And this does really work and it's totally worth it now. If you're trying to save money, um, here's the hack. Um, one of the things that this manufacturer does is they give it to you. There's options for refillables. What you can do is you can go on to eBay or whatever and get just this container for super, super cheap. Or you could even go like on a free website or something, find whatever's in your area. See if you can get just the jar. And then you can get the refillable and just pop it in. So, or just really don't care and keep it in a nice sanitized area and just keep the pot the way it is. So you can do that too. So I like to buy the refillables. Like this one here is a refillable. And I just, I didn't care if it wasn't in standing at the, Leans to the side, as long as it's locked, we're good. So don't be afraid to just buy the refillable product. As long as it's in a clean, sanitary area, you're good. You don't have to spend extra money on the packaging. It will save you money in the long run if you are a person of skincare. Yes. All right, guys. That's all of my reviews. You guys have a great day and have great looking skin tomorrow.